morning, everyone. It's Monday, August 29th. We celebrate the passion of John the Baptist. We begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We all know the story of John the Baptist, and uh, it's important that we realize that in, the, in those days, he was speaking out against the things in his society that were going wrong, and he certainly paid the price. For the times we forgot the gifts God has given to us, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who will that St. John the Baptist should go ahead of your son, both in his birth and in his death, grant that as he died a martyr for truth and justice, we too may fight hard for the confession of what you teach through Christ our Lord. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The word of the Lord came to me thus, gird your loins, stand up and tell them all that I command you. Be not crushed on their account as though I would leave you crushed before them. For it is I this day who have made you a fortified city, a pillar of iron, a wall of brass against the whole land, against Judah's kings and princes, against its priests and people. They will fight against you, but not prevail over you. For I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm, I will sing your salvation. I will sing your salvation. In you, O Lord, I take refuge. Let me never be put to shame. In your justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. I will sing, sing your salvation. salvation. Be my rock of refuge, a stronghold to give me safety. For you are my rock and my fortress. O oh my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. I will sing your salvation. For you are my hope, O oh Lord, my trust, O oh God, from my youth. On you I depend from birth. From my mother's womb you are my strength. I will sing your salvation. My mouth shall declare your justice day by day your salvation. O oh God, you have taught me from my youth. Until the present, I proclaim your wondrous deeds. I will, I will sing, sing your salvation. salvation. Friends, may the Lord be with you. With Let us be attentive to the reading of the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Herod was the one who had John the Baptist arrested and bound in prison on account of Herodias, the wife of his brother Philip, whom he had married. John had said to Herod, it is not lawful for you to have your brother's wife. Herodias harbored a grudge against him and wanted to kill him, but was unable to do so. Herod feared John, knowing him to be a righteous and holy man, and kept him in custody. When he heard him speak, he was very much perplexed, yet he liked to listen to him. She had an opportunity one day when Herod, on his birthday, gave a banquet for his courtiers, his military officers, and the leading men of Galilee. Herodias' own daughter came in and performed a dance that delighted Herod and his guests. The king said to the girl, ask whatever you wish, and I will grant it to you. He even swore many things to her. I will grant you whatever you ask of me, even to half of my kingdom. She went out and asked her mother, what shall I ask for? She replied, the head of John the Baptist. The girl hurried back to the king's presence and made her request. I want you to give me at once on a platter the head of John the Baptist. The king was deeply distressed, but because of his oaths and the guests, he did not wish to break his word to her. So he promptly dispatched an executioner with orders to bring back his head. He went off and beheaded him in prison. He brought in, a, and he brought in the head on a platter and gave it to the girl. The girl in turn gave it to her mother. When his disciples heard about it, they came and took his body and laid it in a tomb. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know where I found this. I actually found it sticking out of a book, so I'm not sure who this person is that says it, but I think it's something worthwhile listening to. As a life coach and a trainer, I am often asked, my friend, partner, spouse, parent hurt me. How can I forgive and forget? But I think, why would I want to forget? I'm given a golden opportunity to learn and grow from this. Why would I want to forget? Our mind is like a busy monkey. Out of habit, it will continue doing what it was previously doing, 
until you give it something else to do. If your mind is filled with thoughts of resentment from past hurts, don't even try to forget the pain. In fact, embrace it. Accept it as a part of, but not all of, your life. You have a choice to hold on to the pain or hold on to the purpose. Reflect on your hurtful experience and ask, what has this experience taught you? Has it taught you gratitude, patience, forgiveness, acceptance, prayer, or surrender? How has this experience made you a better person? Have you become more understanding, more reflective, and more loving? What other gifts from God can be discovered within? Have you made a new friend, discovered the devotion of a loved one, found humility, or gained strength? I think that's an important for all of us to reflect on that. God bless. For all those people that have sacrificed on our behalf, we pray. For those who constantly put our lives on the line for us, police officers, firefighters, we pray. For all those who have taught us the gift of forgiveness, we pray. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to truly bless us on our journey back home to you through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to give you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Friends, let us pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name. Lord, good and good of God's holy church. Through these offerings we bring you, O Lord, grant that they may straighten your paths as taught to the voice crying out in the desert, St. John the Baptist, who powerfully sealed his teaching by the shedding of his blood through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right and Father, in his precursor, St. John the Baptist, we praise you with greater joy for you consecrated him for your singular honor among those born of women. His birth was brought about great rejoicing. Even in the womb, he leapt for joy at the coming of human salvation. He alone of all the prophets pointed out the Lamb of Redemption. And to make holy the flowing waters, he baptized the very author of baptism and was privileged to bear him supreme witness by the shedding of his blood. And so we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world, Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Leonard and Louise Blandina, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, 
Joseph, her husband, the apostles, the martyrs, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O God Almighty, Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we wait with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. So offer to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Oh Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. As we celebrate the heavenly birth of John the Baptist, may we revere what it signifies, the saving grace we have received, and even more rejoice in its clear effects in us through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing continue to guide us in all that we do, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Have a good day, everyone.